Hello everybody, Apophy here, and welcome back to Banished. So, I know we haven't been here for a while, and we have a traitor. Um, and, uh, what has he got? Hmm, he's got warm coats. I have these things, he's got warm coats. I have warm coats too. I don't need your stuff. Um, so I know we haven't recorded in a while, um, but I am pretty excited to do it. We have the schoolhouse coming along nicely. And some more houses coming along nicely. We're trying to grow the population a little bit. Not too crazy, but, you know, working on it. Um, we have some bridges moving along. We have um, some other things. I wish it wasn't raining because it is slowing my frame rate. Um, but yeah, so it's been really good. And I know I haven't played in a while, but I am quite excited to be back. Um, just with uh, the Maplecraft stuff going on, which um, for those of you who don't watch my Minecraft series, um, which it's possible some of you, uh, I started on a new YouTuber only Minecraft server and it has been absolutely a blast, but it has also been eating up a lot of my time. So um, yeah, that's why there hasn't been any banished anyway. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, I'm, you know, I want to be pretty open with you guys about uh, about the YouTube thing and the the scenario and the stuff. Can I build a road here? I think I might need a road here. Why am I not getting a little, a little hexy thingy? Why? Oh, there we go. Bam! Perfect. Um, yeah, I want to be pretty open with you guys about like. You know the way this YouTube stuff works and all of that because I, you know, I think that it's it's cool. It's something that I really like and it's really important to me. And and you know maybe maybe some of you guys are interested in it. Obviously, you know if you're watching this on any sort of regular basis, um, or you know even just occasionally, uh, you're probably kind of interested in YouTube at least a little bit. You know, as a viewer or, or you know as somebody who might want to do something eventually or as somebody who does stuff. Um, so yeah, I figure, you know, I'm going to be pretty open with you guys and talk about it. Um, and just just some of the things about the experience and, and that type of stuff. So yeah, I know some YouTubers are absolutely, like, maintained that they will not talk about... Oh, this stone's already going to be harvested, I think. Yeah. Um, they don't talk about... Wait, wait, it's spring. I need farmers. All of the farmers. That gives me a notification. Yeah, some YouTubers just refuse to talk about YouTube, kind of, and I think it's a little bit weird. They just they just produce their videos and they don't talk about the fact that it's their job and they don't talk about how it works or any of those things. I think it's a little odd, to be honest. Um, I think it's a little bit weird because your fans and your viewers, they kind of, they're, they're people that you, spend a lot of time talking to like I, I spend a lot of time talking to you guys and I appreciate every one of you um so it strikes me as just this really weird thing to not want to talk about what it is there's it's I guess it's they want to like keep the immersion factor of it they they don't want to um they don't want to break the the fourth wall and talk to you people and stuff like that and I get that sometimes but sometimes it's just kind of like you know, just hanging out with the peeps. So, yeah, gotta gotta hang out. Um, why are you cold? We have firewood, don't we? Have firewood? Where is our firewood? Yeah, we we don't actually have a ton of firewood. Um, I guess we are. No, we wouldn't be using that for building. We would be using the wood for building, which we have plenty of. We do have two wood cutters going right now, I believe. Mm -hmm. Where's our second woodcutter? Yep, yep, we've got two of them working. Um, we've got plenty of builders. I don't know why things are kind of going slowly right now. I guess it's because I'm playing on two times speed instead of five times like usual. But, uh, but yeah, so that's it anyway. Um, so, oh, okay, we are immediately going to close the, wait, are we going to close it? Yeah, we're going to close the school. Um, because it's not ready yet. I want to have a hundred adults before, at least, I don't know, somebody died. Annabella died during childbirth. Oh, that's so sad. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to have a good population going before I get into, okay, did they not plant or like what? Did they just refuse to do that?
Oh no, it's growing. Okay. Um, because to be honest, the the school system does take a lot of like this number will get pr like significantly bigger. It'll probably double. Um, so you've got to have like you got to have a really significant base of all of your resources before you you want to do that because you'd be taking a lot of people who would be going over to the workforce and you'd be keeping them here for longer. Um, just like real life, that's a good thing because then they'll be more productive workers and they'll just be better at all of the things. But, um, you know, when the only work that needs to be done is like farming and stuff like that, um, ultimately we need food. So, yeah, it's gotta, you gotta kind of find that balance. Um, so we're gonna come over here and take a look and see uh, a bunch of frames because it's really slow. Um, Okay, so this is getting built. That's pretty good. Uh, so that's those. Do we have, oh yeah, I wanted more herbalists. Is this a herbalist? That's a gatherer's hut. That's a forester's lodge. We're gonna have to build a herbalist as well. Uh, so let's come down here. I don't remember, is that a farm? Crop field. Wait, 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 wait. I think it was the right thing. Herbalist, gatherer's hut. Herbalist? Yeah, it's a herbalist. All right. So we're going to put this right there. Now it's going to take a while to build, so I'm not in too much of a rush. We are going to turn it up to five times speed, so some things actually kind of get done while we're here. Um, and yeah, so I think right now what we really need to focus on is just bringing up the population. Um, that's part of why I have these houses queued here, but I need more stone for them. I need more stone for them. Uh, I guess I've just, um, like the labor has just been slow and um, because they definitely should be getting stone. I've got lots of it. So, um, we have the sheep split. Um, I can actually do that again. I can build, um, uh, yeah. Go ahead and build that pasture. Um, I think I had it set to higher priority, but I don't remember. So I'm going to go ahead and where is the button? Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and tell them to focus on this. So that's going to make them try to build it faster, um, which shouldn't be a big deal because like they just have to bring some logs out and then and then build it. And then somebody is starving right now. They are for real starving. What are you, what are you doing that you are starving? We have 9,000 food. There you go. Holy cow, people are living in this place. Dang, that is, oh, and there's, oh, okay. There's just more slots. I thought there was more people. Um, they should have, yeah, they have tons of food. He's just, he's just not real bright, that's all. Um, so yeah, let's move back over here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because it makes everything faster. Look at them go. I did build a brick road in the last episode, which is cool. It does increase their speed. Um, so it's pretty significant. Uh, building a brick road is a pretty big deal and it's pretty awesome. Um, I probably could do to build some of these as brick roads as well, but, uh, maybe at some later date. Hmm. What was I going down here for? more iron and stuff like that i guess um our fields are coming along nicely how's this coming okay so it needs built it's ready to go but they just need to build it um hmm, hmm. what do we need to do we really need to get these houses going too so I'm going to go ahead and increase priority to the houses. This should tell them to get on top of that pretty soon. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will solve our population issue because what will happen is if the population gets too old to be having children, then as they die, they're not replaced and then you're just, you're stuck. You're in a bad situation and your town will die off and I don't want that. I, I'm working really hard to make sure that the town actually does well. And what are you coming to get? 
Let's see what this person's coming to get. Stone. No, wait. Is that iron? Or stone? I don't remember. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will get that sorted. We need more builders. Okay. Let's get another builder going. Um, because yeah, if there's not enough houses, um, what will happen is people will just stop having children. I'm not entirely sure how that makes sense, but uh, whatever, I guess. Um, the game's not perfect, but it is pretty dang enjoyable. So, um, the market seems to be going pretty well. Um, I've got two people working the market. I don't think I really need one person, two people, vendor, two. Um, I don't think I really need any more. It seems to be doing quite well as it is because there's not a super high population yet. Um, to be honest, I probably built the market early, but uh, better to build it a little bit early than a little bit late because um, this game is pretty punishing for doing things late. Uh, so we're gonna set this to sheep. And then we are going to come down here and we are going to split the sheep. Um, so half of the sheep are gonna come over to this field. There we go and see it's increased to five. And so they're actually gonna lead the sheep over there, I believe. Hmm, doesn't look like they're doing it. I thought I remember them actually like bringing the sheep over, but maybe, maybe I've sort of forgotten. Um, and that way, you know, we're gonna have tons and tons of wool coming in and we'll be able to make warm coats like forever. Um, and warm coats are actually a really, really awesome currency. So if I can keep, um, keep, uh, oh, actually I need another herdsman. Two more herdsmen. Um, two more fishermen. Three more hunters. Anything else that we're short on? We're way over on builders. So if I can keep um, warm coats just like run, running in, so the hunters have to bring in leather and then we'll have wool from the sheep. If I can keep that going, um, then we'll be able to trade that for other resources because to be honest, we should probably have more foods than just peppers. Um, I'm pretty sure having a very singular diet is one of the things in this game that will actually contribute to a poor health. Um, having stored medicines and herbs is the best way to combat that, but um, having a variable diet is also important. Um, is this being built yet? No, okay. It's because they were focusing on this stuff over here, and it looks like they're actually doing quite a good job. They've got these houses. Um, they've got these houses built. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell them to make another one. Another two. Yeah, that should give us a bit of growth because we are actually getting in kind of a bad growth situation. Um, you should have a better balance between, I think you usually want a third and then two thirds. I think that's the ideal because this number doesn't split. Um, they should really have, maybe there is no elder, elderliness thing that like people will stop working at a certain age. So maybe that's it, but um, they should have it split like uh, elders, um, uh, working adults, uh, students, and then children. Um, that would probably be the best way to split it. Um, just so that way you can keep track of how much your workforce was in proportion to the other stuff. I didn't even need to get rid of that. Whoa, oh, the mini map. I don't, I don't use the mini map. Mini maps are for chumps. Um, so, oh yeah, there we go. There's our sheep. I guess I just needed another person working it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and increase the builders a little bit. And it looks like things are going really well. Um, we've got lots of food coming in from all these farms and we've got lots more farms to be um, started as soon as, uh, as soon as we need them. We have a spot for a mine in place. Um, so when we need uh, coal or iron or stone, oh, not stone, stone you need a quarry. When we need uh, coal or iron, we can go ahead and use mining. 
um, to build it. Um, we are kind of pretty short on firewood though, so that's something that sucks. Um, because we do have two woodcutters going. Uh, ooh, snow in late autumn. So you're going to see these crops start disappearing without people harvesting them. Unless they actually harvest them in time. I don't think they did though. Uh, so we've got a trader here who is bringing some stuff for us. Oh man! Oh, he's got all the seeds. Look at all these seeds. Okay, what do we need? Mm hmm. Corn. Okay, we're gonna take corn seeds, and we are going to trade all of the things that we have for the quote uh, the corn seeds. And I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, 1,300. Well. I don't think there's anything I can do. We don't have enough resources to like, to, to do that. So that's what I'm talking about. We really, really need to have some sort of trade commodity that we can get all those new foods. Um, so yeah, food came in pretty good. Uh, the woodcutters, we might need a third. Like, I think that's just crazy, but it's looking that way. So, I mean, so be it, I guess. Um, I think I was saying something before. Oh yeah, we're just getting a lot of food from uh, from all the farms, and that's good. Um, why can't I find it? Oh, it's the axe. I'm always looking for an axe and a stump. I think is uh, is mostly the issue. Um, we're not doing anything with this land over here. That's the road there. So we're gonna build another woodcutter there, and that should actually help. Um, we do have lots of wood, like we've got a ton of people, we've got 12 foresters going, so really, uh, wood shouldn't be an issue. Um, this forestry lodge is kinda not ideal at this point because you know we've got a lot of other stuff um, encroaching, encroaching, rather, uh, on the forest, so that's kinda not ideal, but um, yeah. We've got the tavern stop because we don't have any alcohols. No, we, we don't have the tavern stop because we don't have any alcohols. We have it stopped because we don't have anything to make alcohols with, which would have been great if we got, I think, corn. What does corn make? Corn makes whiskey. I think you make, yeah. Um, maybe, I don't know if you can do whiskey or if you can just do different beers and stuff like that. Um, let me actually check that, I'm curious. So, oh, nope, what do we need? Uh, we can do apple, berries, cherry, peach, plum. Oh, I can do berries. I have berries. We need a, we need a, a brewer. I didn't know you could do berries. That's so exciting. This is awesome. People are freezing to death, but I'm gonna make beer. Beer berries. Bear, be be bear berries? Um, we need so okay that's our brewer and we need another woodcutter um, there we go we've still got lots of laborers so that's awesome um, we have this number on the rise which is good uh -huh. and that number should be you know hopping along to this number we we're getting that up and uh, yeah we should have lots of work for us uh -huh, which is awesome so now we can also build a road right here we're going to come straight across, like that, like that. Uh, where is the entrance to this building? I don't really know. They seem to enter it from, like, right there. Yeah, that'll do. And I can build a couple more things in here and in there, maybe? I don't know how sloped that is, but... Um, we've got a nice little town. It's kind of nestled into the, the side of a mountain here. A little mountain, a little hill. And uh, yeah, I think things are going absolutely awesome, except for the all these people freezing. Um, so anyway, guys, um, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.